Hey guys, welcome to the ICT 10 PCS coding series. If you are new to the channel, subscribe and follow the playlist from the beginning so you understand every concept thoroughly. This is part 13 of the inpatient coding series and today we will learn about the imaging section from the ancillary sections of the ICD-10 PCS. I am Vinay Kumar, I carry an overall experience of two decades in the US healthcare industry with vast experience in coding, auditing, training and mentoring. I have helped many professionals in gaining knowledge and preparing for medical coding certifications. I am dual certified from both AHIMA and AAPC with extensive knowledge in all the verticals of the revenue cycle management. At the end of this learning session, we will have a better understanding of coding from the imaging section of the ICD-10 PCS. These are the seven characters in this section. The first one is the section itself. Then comes the body system. Third character is for the type of imaging performed. Fourth character is for the body part. Fifth character is for the type of contrast used. Sixth and seventh characters are qualifiers which provide additional information. The imaging section includes procedures such as radiographies, fluoroscopy, CT scans, MRIs, and ultrasounds. These are the 17 sections in the ICD-10 PCS and today we are talking about the imaging section. Note that PET scans are coded to the nuclear medicine section and not from the imaging. And remember, Multiple codes can be reported from different sections of the PCS based on the combinations of procedures that are usually performed. So the first character in the imaging section is B or the section itself. Second character defines the body system such as the heart or the gastrointestinal for example. Third character defines the type of imaging procedure such as an MRI or an ultrasound. The fourth character defines the body part with the different body part values available for each body system. The fifth character specifies the type of contrast that is used such as high osmolar contrast or low osmolar contrast or other type of contrast. The sixth character provides further details regarding the nature of substance or technologies that are used such as un uh, unenhanced or enhanced contrast images or whether it's a laser procedure. The seventh character may be used to specify certain procedural circumstances such as whether it's an intraoperative imaging or intravascular imaging or transesophageal imaging. This is an example of coding left ventriculography using low osmolar contrast. The section is imaging, body system is heart, root operation or the type is fluoroscopy, body part is left heart. The fifth character identifies the type of the contrast, so it is low osmolar. Sixth and seventh characters are none for this particular procedure. This is the corresponding table for the left ventriculography. Now, procedures such as left ventriculography, right ventriculography or coronary angiographies are imaging procedures which are done as part of other major procedures such as an angioplasty or an etherectomy or a stent placement or PTCS, for example. And all such imaging procedures are coded from this particular table. So the key points to remember from this section are imaging section includes plain radiography, fluoroscopy, CT scans, MRIs and ultrasound procedures. And remember PET scans are coded to the nuclear medicine section, not from the imaging. This is where you will find the CMS version of the ICD-10 PCS coding manual which you can use for coding the PCS procedures.
Thank you for watching guys. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done that already and follow the series from the playlist for the complete set of videos. We will start learning the medical and surgical section along with the individual root operations and we'll also talk about the official guidelines for PCS in the upcoming videos. Thank you.